The gas leak, however, not just sending employees out the door, a bride, a groom, and their family, all forced to make their way outside, too. But they didn't let the gas leak put a damper on their perfectly imperfect day. Local 2's Don Logg joins us live in the studio to tell us what it was like to see the happy couple say, I do. Yeah, guys, no matter what, your wedding day never goes as planned. But today, I literally stumbled on a wedding that was just as surprised to see me as I was to see them. Hey, one more time. Hurry, hurry. Julia Vasquez and Tony Barraras came to the Ector County Courthouse Friday afternoon to say I do. I was nervous about the getting married part until you guys showed up. <laughs> the bride said she wanted a somewhat private ceremony. Little did she know the day wouldn't go as planned. Just go Just in. To go inside, get married, and leave. Yeah, we didn't expect. <laughs> we didn't expect to come outside and. Do it out here in front of everybody, in front of the cameras. As our crews responded to a gas leak, forcing everyone inside the building to evacuate, we couldn't help but crash the impromptu ceremony. No one else in Odessa will have a fire truck in the background of their wedding pictures. <laughs> Judge Woody Cupper says despite the circumstances, the show must go on. I was not going to delay this marriage any longer. And although the happiest day of their lives turned out to be imperfect, <laughs> people are going to see this and that's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> the couple and their family wouldn't have their perfect wedding any other way. I'm glad it happened the way it did. It's one to remember for sure. Judge Cupper tells me this isn't the first time he performed a wedding outside of the courthouse, but it was the first time it happened like this. Reporting live in the studio, Don Log, Local 2 News.